Hello everybody and welcome to episode 18 of the Idle Game Maker course. Today I'll guide you through migrating your code to a text file and using syntax highlighting in Notepad++ that I created. I'll also explain why coding in Idle Game Maker with a text file is better and show you how to make your game load using text files. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the advantages of coding with a text file, in our case in Notepad++. More responsive allows for extremely large game source files without any issues, as well as easy source file backups and version control. It also doesn't rely on an external source to write your code, but most importantly you can use syntax highlighting, which is easily the biggest advantage because it insanely improves code readability. The only disadvantages are that it's slightly more difficult to set up and updating code for your game is slightly slower. However, in most cases, writing code in a text file for Idle Game Maker is way better than in, for example, Pastebin. Now with that said, let's now migrate our code to Notepad++ so that we can use the syntax highlighting. I already downloaded the newest version of Notepad++ and once you download it, it should look something like this after you open it. And the next thing we want to do is create a new text file by clicking on File and then New, or you can just hit Ctrl N on your keyboard and then go into our Pastebin file and just copy and paste all of our code into our new text file. So just hit copy and then paste it into our text file like this. Now one more thing you need to do is turn word wrap on because if you don't, well, your text will scroll horizontally if it's too long and we definitely do not want that. So make sure you turn word wrap on by clicking this little icon here. Another thing you want to do is go into settings and preferences and turn on dark mode because well light mode is first of all hard on the eyes but the syntax highlighting which we'll be using only works in dark mode okay now that you have your notepad plus plus set to dark mode we need to download the syntax highlighting so first thing you want to do is go into this reddit post which i have created which contains the link for the syntax highlighting file keep in mind that this reddit post is also linked in the description all right so once you're in the reddit post you click here and it will take you to the syntax highlighting download page and this is just a warning that google drive isn't sure if the file contains viruses but don't worry i didn't actually inject any viruses into this thing so click download anyways and now that it is downloaded you go back to notepad plus plus and then click on language then hover over user defined language and click on open user defined language folder this will then open well your user defined language folder and then just go to your downloads click on ign dark mode and drag and drop your newly downloaded ign dark mode xml file into the user defined languages folder and there we go now all the left for us to do is to restart notepad plus plus so just close it and then open it again and after you have closed and reopened it all you need to do now is go into your language tab and then click on IGM dark mode. And here now we can see that our code is looking way snazzier and way cooler than it was before. And it will definitely be a lot more fun and overall just a lot easier to code in this than it was in Pastebin. All right, well, that's cool and all, but how do we actually make our game load using text files? Well, the first thing you need to do is obviously save your file somewhere on your PC. So just click on file and then save as, and you can save it anywhere you want and name it anything you want so i'll just name this one coin mania release version however to make sure that it's a text file make sure to add .txt at the end of your name so then just hit save and now that we saved it our language has unfortunately reset however we can very quickly just set it back by clicking on language and then ig in dark mode now that we have our text file saved we just need to drag and drop it into our myware.io library or file garden library and then once again we have our url here and we copy and paste this url instead of our pastebin code so just replace the pastebin code with the new url like this and it should load just fine all right, and now we have successfully made our game load using a text file. Now, one of the disadvantages when working with text files is that for each change you make in your code, you will have to drag and drop your text file again into your file garden library so that, you know, the code can update. However, I think the advantages of using text files far outweigh this one single disadvantage. All right, and that will be the end of this episode. And from now on, we'll be coding in Notepad++. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really enjoy what I do here, feel free to check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description. For only $2 a month, your name can be included in my outro. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.